All right, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to be using a new theme team and we're actually using a theme this time around. We're using completely new DLC mods. It means mods that were released with the DLC not coming back, but the new ones. We're talking Royal 3, Ogapan, we're talking Sinister. That's pretty much what the team consists of. It's going to be very interesting to try them out. It's not the most synergistic team, I understand that, but I think it's going to be pretty fun to try out and let's just hope it will work. So let's take a look at the team. Now first up, we have Sinister, then we have Ogapan with the Cornerstone Max, we have Ogie Dogie, Mongie Doi, Fizzin Liberty, and lastly, Diplin. Now Diplin is there because we need to fill out the team, but even then, even like Diplin can be kind of decent with Dragon Tail, being able to phase stuff out, it's pretty bulky of all. But the main star I really want to see a lot from is Sinister and the Ogre Pond. Those two, I really want to see a lot of stuff from just because they seem very fun. Now we're going with a pretty bulky Sinister that is not that offensive and it's meant to just set up calm mines and then heal the Macha Gacha. Basically just being an unbreakable wall. Now the Ogie Dogi I opted for an Assault Vest set because that's not something I've seen that much going around and I feel like it's actually pretty good. Being able to ba badly poison something with Toxic Chain and then having knock off the Gunction Drain Point and High Horsepower for just general coverage is really really nice. Monkey Dory is going to be choice specs because we need something that can hit hard on the team and he is the hardest hitter on the entire team. Pheasant Dippity, pretty much just pure support on the team. You two and player of Taunt and Tailwind, pretty much just there to help the other team and win. So let's see if we can do that. Let's head into the games. All right, so we're here with our full DLC theme team. So we're rocking Sinister, Ogapon, Hornerstone, Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, Pheasant Dippity, and Eerie Light Diplin. Now, there's not really going to be a main focus of a mom we want to try out here, but I do kind of want to try to uh, Sinister because it's actually the only one I haven't really played much with. And the same with Diplin. Um, I do think, let's see, based on what they lead, I think the festivity is a pretty decent lead. Anything that's not Golden Go is probably okay. Um, I'll rock with Sinistra. Oh, and I think I have to bring Okie Dokie because I need something to switch into Golden Go and potentially even, um, what's it called, uh, Skull Dirge. We do have Assault Vest on this, we have Knock Off plus High Health, but yeah. So I think this is the squad we're rocking with. I don't know how good it's going to be. Um, you know, it, it's something we have to check, have to see when we uh, go into the battle. But I haven't played ranked in a while. Very excited about it. And if you end up liking this video, make sure you like it on the video. Leave a comment down for the battle. Let's hope it's a good one. All right, let's see what our opponent brought. Look at this. My, I haven't, I haven't changed my photo. Should I change my photo up for the DLC now? I have changed my outfit. So yeah, he, ha he has the standard. Oh my, he did lead Golden. I literally said if he leads anything that's not Golden Go, it would kind of fine. Did lead Golden Go. Okay, that's really annoying. Um, I am, I believe, is it Ghost? I can't. Uh, no, it's Dark. Why was it Dark again? I don't remember why it was Dark. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this I do remember because Ferris is still the best one. Um, I kind of want to just stay in, take the hit, and beat it up because. Doesn't it be like decently fast? It's also pretty spadef. This this one specifically is also very spadef. Um, I don't believe we can get the toxic on. Um, yeah, don't know if we can because it's through the ability. We we are faster. So oh wait, this is a ranked. This is a ranked three three. So, so beat up only gives us the three hits. I di I didn't realize that. I haven't thought. I didn't think too much about that. If I'm being honest, because um. <laughs> Uh, what's it called? I, did, I made this, as I said, a little bit ago, and at the time I was like, oh, beat up, that's pretty good. Because uh, I saw the whole strap with beat up, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, since we now know we're faster, I'm going to U-turn into Okie Dokie. Um, now that he's minus one, it should not do a whole lot to make it rain. Because we are AV on our Okie Dokie. Alright, we U-turn, we go Okie Dokie. Because it's like, there's a liberty again. It's, it's like somewhat fast enough that we can still roost on a couple of things, and it can still have some utility. This shouldn't... Oh, he Shadow Balls. That's... Uh, it, it's, like, fine, but it's not great. I could have roosted on this, like, so easily. Well, this is a very free knockoff. If he wants to stay in, that's fine. But we get a very free knockoff here, I feel like. I feel like AV Okidoki is, like, a really good set. I, I haven't seen many people talk about it, but I just feel like it's good. Because its offensive moves are really good. Access to, of course, poison and fighting moves. But also, like, knockoff, high horsepower. I believe it gets, like, the elemental punches. This is an amazing knockoff. I don't know why would you, why you would go to Skeldert. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, my god, that does a lot. Um, is that within high horsepower range? Because another knockoff probably doesn't, but I think high horsepower would, actually. I, th I think... I, I, oh, wait, he terrors. Oh, please say, tell me you go terror fire. That would be, f you know... Fire. No, he probably goes fairy. Fairy is like the most common thing with this thing. I feel like, yeah, yeah, definitely fairy. Damn, I should have, should have gone shot. I should have gone shot. I mean, 
We do have the gun shot, so we should live any hit he wants to go for. Oh, he could will his fast. Actually, Ugh, he could will with something very bad. Yeah, he does live now. I'm hope. Oh, we get the toxic chain. That's actually really, really, really good. Nice. Um, if he attacks, he dies. So he touch. Wow. I. Okay. I mean, sure. Not 100% sure why you torch song. If anything, you heal or you will always. You do one of the two. Um, can I always add Drain Punch? Um, I say as I do have Drain Punch. It definitely takes it out. It has like 5 HP, right? Like, so it definitely takes it out. So I'm just going to Drain Punch. If you want... He hard with those. Don't go to Goldango. That would be really annoying. Uh, I think that is Goldango. But I mean, I think we out. Yeah, I think we out speed and we can knock off again. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, actually, we might not, because uh, I'm pretty sure our festivity is faster than our Okie Dokie. Okie Dokie is 106, yeah, 126, yeah, so it's, unfortunately we do not. I'm still just gonna go for knockoff, I feel like this is like the perfect way, yeah, we should, we should tank this, we should, it does like, I would, I would estimate 35, yeah, around 30, 35% of the total. But this knock, yeah, this knockoff hits, get rid of the expert belt, okay, so do we live another Shadow Ball? I think we might. I think we might, but if anything, Fasendibity is faster than both Skeledurge and Golongo. We know that. We know it's faster than Golongo, and I know it should be faster than uh, his face. Oh, if he has recovered, that's bad. Okay, no, he makes it. Oh, wait, we probably actually don't live this. Yeah, I was about to say, we probably actually don't live that. But he that does mean he's minus one, so I could potentially go Sinistar and try and call mine. Problem is, I don't know... I don't know, like... Like, even, even minus, because we are physically, we're mostly physically defensive on Sinistra. To then help the, like, with Calm Mind, we then get Bulky on Bulkia. We don't have healing outside of Macha Gacha. I see, I'm just gonna go Fist and Divity. I'm just gonna go Fist and Divity. This is by far the safest play, right? Uh, what are our moves? It's play I don't want to miss. Beat up? Beat up with only two. Ooh, does it, actually, is this a mistake? Do we even kill here? I don't know. I, I guess I'm checking if we do. Oh, I don't think we do. Oh my god, Pheasant Dib- Oh, okay, we did, we did, we did, we did. I was about to say, Pheasant Dibity, you are ass! <laughs> I know, I know beat up is the problem. Beat up is not a good move, right? I, I forgot this is gonna be 3v3, so we gotta have way less HP, uh, way less mods to utilize beat up. And also, if anyone is wondering, the reason you use beat up is because it makes it so if you have a full team, there's a very high chance that you get the toxic chain off. And this is an- okay, this is Ogre Pond. This is not good. On the off chance he wants to... Um, the off chance you want to set up. Do I U- I think I do U-turn. Like if you want a Soul Stand. No, he just goes for the Ivy Coddle. I mean, I think Sinister- Oh, we even lived that. Holy hell, Pheasant- Okay, Pheasant Divinity is like a pretty decently bulky mon. Toxic Chain? Oh my god, that's perfect. That was a perfect turn. Because I'm like 99% sure Sinister will live this hit. Like, live, live the hit. Especially because I could, like, uh, I could go Terra Fairy. Um, but I don't think Ogopon gets, like, a dark move. And this isn't the fire variant. We're not, we're not scared of the fire move, right? Uh, so we, we get to see Sinisha actually hit the field. I'm very happy about this. Um, do we Terra? I think we Terra just for the sake of it. If you just have a super effective move. And then we Hex. Cause Hex, I think, should take this out. I think. I, I have a good feeling Hex should. Now that it is poison, so we get the full... Ballot cancel, we get a win. Sinister, way too scary, but honestly, Okie Dokie, Pheasant Divity, put in the work. See you in the next battle. All right, so we're here with our next battle. We're going up against a Grimmsnark, King Gambit, Garganagle, Torkoal, with the, uh, with the Ogre Pond, Heart Flame, and Sun. That's gonna be interesting. I Oh, wait, I'm Choice Specs, Monkey Dory. Actually, ooh, that, that, that is very, very bad, actually. Wow, that thing kind of mops my entire team. Um, I, yeah, this can, and this can only, well, I guess this is like, Fine, I think. Like Terra wise, um, what was yours again? It's poison, not great. Yours is like fighting. Yeah, no, our entire team kind of. I guess Diplin, Diplin kind of does it, but Diplin kind of all the loses to everything else. <laughs> um, what's a good lead here? I don't want to lead Mongidori. Yeah, I'm gonna lead Mongidori. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring mm, the, the two dark types and but I do I am Terfei. I'm gonna bring Sinister and I don't have 
much I I guess I'll bring Fessendivity for the Tailwind. So we did I did actually by the way change the Fessendivity set a little bit so we no longer beat up. We also no longer roost because the, these battles are so fast the roost isn't necessarily always um, needed. So I opted to put Taunt and I opted to put Tailwind on it. Now, does he just lead? He leads with... I'm guessing Torkoal. No, he leads... Oh, wait. He's going to set up screens. It screens into... Okay. Yeah. It screens into Torkoal into... Okay, this is... Yeah, this, this is fun. I mean, I'm specs. To set up the live screen. I'm still doing 75% to you minimum, I think. So yeah, I'm spec, you know, do it. Actually, if he's tear steel, I'm gonna be annoyed. No, he starts with a flag. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> I, I, did, I, I He might be lead Sash. It might actually be Sash League now that I think about it, but. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. It's just dead. It's a, it, the crit didn't matter. Trust me, the crit didn't matter. Two specs, that did not matter. <laughs> um, What's your next, next mod? It would be either the Ogre Pond or the. um, What's it called? The Torkoal. Those are like the two mods I'm kind of suspecting would come in. I guess you could have an Annihilate 2. Annihilate like wouldn't would could also like come in and set up. So it's Gargangle the battle champ. Okay. This is actually also kind of annoying. I don't have a um. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go for and I'm gonna taunt this thing. Uh I don't know if he goes for Salt Pure immediately. If he does go for Salt Pure, that's really annoying, but it is what it is. I do think we can beat this. So he does just go for the Sulky. That's wild. Just, okay, so it's not like... Oh, he crits. Okay, thank you. I, that's what I wanted. Okay, not being roost. Kind of gonna end up biting me in the butt right now. <laughs> not gonna lie. It, it might end up biting me in the butt. Um, But I mean, I think I can beat this, like, decently. I'm gonna taunt if he's, like, the protect, like, protect set. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna taunt if he's, like, sub. That's perfect. If he's iron defense, that's perfect. I'm just gonna get this. Yep, I can't iron defense. I knew it. So is your only your only attacking move is probably Salt Cure, is my guess. So question is if I go for player off to try and get toxic. Well, no, this thing can't be status like period, I think it is. I think that's how it works. It like can't get status, period. Um I think I do go for player off. Like I know it's not gonna do a lot, but I kind of just wanna get the, the little bit of chip damage here in there. He did, oh, he, does a, he has body press for the other move. Okay, 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 okay. They're definitely gone for Soul Cure. I don't know why he, he didn't go. They didn't go for Soul Cure. That seems really weird. Um. Okay. Based on this, do I? He's taunted for one more turn. Yeah. So I stay in, one more time, hit him, taunt him, and then I probably U-turn. I think. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just gonna get chip. It's just chip. Like, I don't need to... This this can kill him. Like, there's no shot it ever kills him, right? Okay, so I definitely... I always taunt here. So he's probably Iron Defense, Taunt, Body Press, Soul Cure, which... You know... Uh, and recover. Recover. Like, sorry, I'm Taunt. <laughs> uh, recover. He's Recover. So, like, Recover, Iron Defense, um, Body Press, Soul Cure is my guess. I am 100% taunting you. I'm not allowing you to do nada but attack. <laughs> Even if it means Fess and Dibity dies this turn, I can live with it. If I live, I might Tailwind because I then die on the following turn. And I can go... I'll probably go... It's probably better to go Mongidori, Terra Fighting, and just hit him with a Terra Blast as hard as I can. Um, does Black Cell mean we live here? Uh, I hope not. I actually wouldn't mind that. Oh, I, mm. I want him to stay um, taunted as, as long as possible. But I think I'm gonna Tailwind here. So, we already killed one Mon. I don't know what the last in the bag is, but it's definitely... It's not the team I thought it was gonna be, right? So he kills me here. This is fine. Um, I think it's better for us to go... Uh, then again, I could go Sinisha, set up a comp... Because Ma Macha Gacha heals me as well, right? Plus, it could even burn him. Um, I, I literally cannot check my moves. Are you kidding? Okay, Pokemon, you need to fix that. Like, I think I'm going to go Sinisha. Because I, I want to see Sinisha tr try and pop off a little bit. I don't believe we're that offensively invested. Actually, I did pull setups in the meantime, so I could actually look real quick. Oh, uh, Sinistra is... Yeah, we're, we're not specially invested whatsoever, but I believe you are taunted this turn. So what I'm going to do is... You, you're 100% going to Soul Cure me, right? Um, but I still think getting the one Calm Mind off 
Yeah, getting the Calm Mind into Machagacha to heal and potentially even burn you is probably the, for the best here. I definitely think maybe I should be a bit more offense. I'm like, it's it's extremely physically defensive Sinister with Calm Mind just so you become super bulky. can heal with Machagacha and just become unkillable. So we'll see if we can beat... I think we can beat a Garganite with 1v1. Uh, but he didn't... He did not use his Terror. So if he is Terror Poison, which I think some Garganagles do run, that's going to be scary. Because then it's going to be a very interesting battle, to say the least. So you Soul Cure here. We all know the song and dance, my guy. Yeah. We got a Call Mine off. Um, I don't think he has Protect. I feel like he definitely would have uh, clicked Protect by this point. I don't even think the last move is... Um, what's it called? Recover, that's like my guess. We also left those on our Sinister, so we get a little bit of residual still. Next to Soul Cure, that's fine. Uh, because I, yeah, no, I, hmm, I could maybe even still. Because if he's not substitute, then it doesn't matter that he Iron Defense, because I have two special attacks left. But I think I'm just gonna go for the Macha Gacha now, see how much I can do. How does this look? I haven't seen this move actually. What the hell? This looks so funny. And it just checks out. We, you know, oh, we crit him. <laughs> Sinister, I knew you were the goat. I knew you were the goat. Like, I low-key love Sinister. I think Sinister is such a cool design of a mod. And it's such a cool, like, convert. I, I believe this is Convergence Species. Because it's, it's like, a completely different mod for Poltergeist, but it just looks like Poltergeist, I think. So I'm pretty sure this is Convergence. Same way as Toad School is. But I love Sinister. Sinister is so cool. Okay, what's the last mod? Is it... The Ogre Pond. Okay, I kind of had a feeling. So I probably tear a fairy here. Because Terra fighting on Mongidori isn't going to make me any less... Like, fire is still going to be, like, super effective. So I, I'm i going to Terra Fairy so I can potentially live here. Oh, Tailwind. Is Tailwind still up, actually? I just realized. Is Tailwind still up? Oh my god, it is. So this, this, and then we... Um, sin, we will still... So Hex with Stab should still be more. And we can't burn him because he's a fire type. So I think going for Hex here is just always the play. We could still lose this, because Tailwind runs out after this turn, and I don't know if Monkey Dory takes a hit. Especially if he, if he goes for Soul Stance, expecting to live here, uh, we probably lose. That's probably like our cue to lose. But basically, I went for this, so maybe we won't get one-shotted by the um, Ivy Cudgel. But at the same time, I don't think it matters. Ooh, that was half. That didn't do nearly as much as I wanted it to. This has to do like less than half. Uh, ooh, we might... <laughs> We might lift after lift, though. Mm -hmm. I think it's a roll, but I also think that... Oh, wait, no, Solskjaer, Solskjaer still works. I, I forgot Solskjaer still works, even though he's not there anymore. But, you know, to me, that is the stupidest mechanic with, by that in by that move by far. I think it's such a stupid, like, um, way it works that even when Garkanag is dead, it still just works. That's so, like, what? Like, none of the trapping moves works like that. Uh, I'm pretty glad he terrors now, because it means I can tell- Oh, wait, he, no, he's terror fire. Ooh, he probably one shots Monkey Dory. He probably one shots Monkey Dory, actually. With that. Like, I need Monkey Dory to live a hit, basically, is what I need. Yeah, and Body Expert gets the- is it attack boost, right? Yeah. No, I don't- I don't think any of our monsters live in this. Yeah, no, this thing is just so- it's too broken. Like, I think- I actually think it's just too broken to- to do anything. Like, it's not- it's not really fun in any aspect at all, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, it's just so stupid to just get the plus one, like, and it, it, it doesn't work the same way as, like, Sashian's nerf, where it's only once per battle. No, no, I'm pretty sure this gets the plus one every time it switches in, it's so stupid. Alright, can Mongidori live a hit? Um, I believe he's pure, so he's pure, um, what's it called, fire now? I think Sludge Wave is slight, yeah, Sludge Wave is slightly stronger, so that's what we're going for. We are faster! He is slow as dick! Okay, never mind, we won! He is very, very slow. I don't know why he's this slow. Okay. I mean, we have max speed, Mongidori, don't get me wrong. But Mongidori is naturally slower than the Ogre Ponds. All right, we take the win. I think Sinisha proved it's actually kind of a good mon. And let's head into the last battle. And we're back with another battle. We're going up against a Grimstone, Annihilate, Volcaron, Dragonite, Umbreon, and Sylveon team. So extremely just... Like, hyper offense with two evolutions. Uh, it's... And actually, no, it's set up that deck. It's literally just set up. I guess... Is that, is that what rank there? It's just set up. People just want to set up. Um, I lead Vezin Deputy because if he leads Grimstone, I can ta I potentially taunt it. Plus, I am a Poison Fairy type, so he cannot really touch me at all. Um, It also leads very well into Dragonite, very well into Sylveon, Umbreon, stuff like that. Like, it leads... Actually, it leads up to... It leads very well into almost pretty much anything. Um... 
think I have to bring the or or the Ogre Pond. Like, Rock is pretty spammable outside on the Annihilate, so I kind of like that. By the way, I did just change a move on <laughs> Ogre Pond. I got rid of Player Off for, uh, what's it called? Um, Claw Leech because of the Garganauts we've been seeing. Uh, do I, go, I feel like Mongodora is the correct choice, but I do want to do something different. I think Okie Doki for Volcarona is probably pretty good. And it also can do damage to both Sylvia. Yeah, no, it can also do damage to both Sylvia and Umbreon. So I'm going to do it like this. Hoping we can get a goddamn win. It's been like 50-50, but it's a very mixed pack. Um, there's a lot more like insane teams in like... The, I'm literally in the lowest Pokeball tier because I haven't played ranked in like a couple of weeks. And when I do, I use teams like these. I use the fun theme teams, which means <laughs> I don't always do that well. <laughs> Does lead Umbreon, I'm very happy with that. I'm taunting your ass immediately. Oh my god, this is the fastest taunt in the West. Holy hell. Yeet. <laughs> yeah, no, you get taunted, please. I hope you go for something. Please, go for something. Can't confuse your way. Wow, you really thought you, can, you were here to confuse your way. I'm gonna play it off. I'm gonna get my chip damage. I'm gonna get potentially the toxic chain. You're gonna poison me because I'm a poison type. I am here to win. Boom. <laughs> All right, good start. I'm very happy about this start. Doesn't it? Yeah, no, it doesn't affect. I'll play. This is doing negative five. Yeah, no, it's, doing, it's not doing a whole lot. I almost healed that with Black Sludge. It's the insane part. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to... Your Tailwind now? I kind of want to Tailwind now to make sure I get it off. I, I I don't have to play. Yeah, no, I can play slow with this thing. I think because I'm I'm afraid if I play rough and he gets low enough that the poison kills him. So I think getting my tailwind up now. Or any yeah, no, he also decides withdraws. So this is actually a really good play for me. Because it means whatever he goes into, I will be fast and I can taunt it as well. Yep, I will taunt your Volcarona faster than you can blink. <laughs> like I'm not letting you quiver on my my. I'm not letting you quiver my down. Is that understood? I'm not letting you quiver. We don't. We should. There's no. Like, even if he's Trish Gap, I don't know if he. Eh, we are pretty slow. That's in the video. If he was Trish Gap, he might be faster. I wouldn't say. That definitely could be a thing. Not letting you quiver. Yep. Not letting. You literally saw me taunt. Like, I'm, I'm gonna. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you saw me do it. Now, I don't, unfortunately, think I can switch out that well. I did bring Ogidogi. Ogidogi can probably take a hit and like high horsepower should do good damage. Um And yeah, this is definitely the situation where I wish I had something else besides D2 moves. If you can't touch a Volcarona, really. But I think Pheasant Dibity, I think Pheasant Dibity just shuts this team down way too well. Uh, Flame Body would be kind of annoying, but we can live with it. We don't... Wow, we get the Toxic Chain, that's perfect. That's literally why I went... That's literally why I went for this, <laughs> because I wanted to get the Toxic Chain. Oh, we didn't get the flame body, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I will go Okie Dogi. Okie Dogi should be able to take like pretty much any hit, I think. I yeah, I don't like fire is neutral. Fire is neutral. If he goes for the fire move, but, like he should never go for Bob Bus. I could I could go Ogre Pond, but I think Ogre, I think having Ogre Pond in the back for potential D Knight, potential Umbreon, stuff like that. Well, I know Umbreon is there, right? But just to hit very hard is probably a little bit better. It does go for the fire dance. Didn't do too much. Does a bit. Yeah, yeah, it does a bit. Like, it's a 3 hit kill. They do not get the special attack boost, so that's very nice. Um, I don't think knockoffing is gonna effectively give me that much. I think I'm gonna gong shot. I don't think I wanna Terra. Because I, I... I mean, if you have Psychic, that's gonna be annoying. We are faster. This should do a good job. It might actually kill. Yeah, I was about to say, it might actually kill. I think Tailwind peters out here, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, if the Umbreon comes in, what do I do? That's a good question. What do I do? Because, like, I could just Drain Punch, but I don't know how much that, do, that does. I might knock off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna knock off, because I don't think Drain Punch have kills. Um, yeah, like, I know it's probably, like, Reflect and all that nonsense, which is really obnoxious. Okay, okay, it is left. Actually, I, I saw it was left toes. I don't know. Okay, you really just want this confusion rate for some reason. I don't know why. Um, do I hard swap this and I feel like I hard swap this and right? Like I'm healthy enough on this thing. Cause like he he would have to do if he doubles if he doubles confusion rate, you know, kudos to him. I guess like, kudos to them. 
I'm sorry, I, I keep saying him. It's just what I'm used to. Like, I, it's just what I typically do. Like, right? He's neutral. Don't look too much into it. Um, so we go for some damage. They go for foul play. This is jack shit. This is gonna do, they would have done jack shit to our Okie as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this this is a pretty controlled battle so far. I guess this is what I need to do. I just need to lead Pheasant Liberty. Pheasant Liberty just seems to be the best lead all time because we can taunt, we can tailwind, we can do so much. This mod is actually really good. Like low key, I didn't think this Pheasant Liberty was going to be this good, but it's just it's such a good support mod. I love it. It's so nice. <laughs> Goes for the. You, you saw me taunt already. You know I have taunt. <laughs> I like it. You know I have taunt. Um, I think what I'm gonna do here is because I think U-turn kills. I'm gonna U-turn and go into Okapon. I think. Actually, I am gonna Tailwind. What am I saying? I'm gonna Tailwind. I'm literally being stupid. I'm just gonna Tailwind. Let, let the Toxic kill him. Tailwind, let the Toxic kill him. We have Tailwind up for, like, if Dina comes in, I can, um, I can taunt it so it can't, like, go for all of its shenanigans, which is perfect. Man, Pheasant Liberty sh like, I don't have roofs on this Pheasant Liberty, and it is still shutting this team down like it's nothing. Holy hell. This is, this is what happens when you go for a full setup team. You just get shut down by a fast Tonda. And Pheasant Liberty isn't even that fast. I didn't put that much speed into it. Now, did I use Tailwind twice? Yeah, yeah, maybe, but you know, ignore that. It is the D Knight. It is the D Knight. Yeah, I am taunting your ass. This is why I, this is why I tailwinded, so we would be faster. He goes for the raw E speed, we definitely take that, like that doesn't do a whole lot. Actually, I did like nothing, so I don't even think you're banded. You learned, you've learned you shouldn't go for the D dance. I'm very proud of you. Um I'm gonna U-turn because I'll break a sash. Uh, no, I'll break scale and I can just hook upon um thingy. Yeah, he goes for the E speed, we take this pretty well. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll break uh, multi-scale. And then Ogre Pond should be able to uh, kill this shit. I am get to. Oh my god, Festivity! Oh, I'm falling in love with this bird. I'm falling in love with this bird. Like, it was my favorite when we saw them originally designed. Then we saw the stats, and it definitely was like, oh, are you kidding me? But holy hell, using it is a different experience. It's such a different experience. Holy hell. I like, I, I'm loving this. Holy, I'm loving how good it is. All right, Ogre Pond, Con this is why I kind of like Cornerstone, because it, it pressures a lot of the very strong offense, like Volcarona, Dragon Knight, or Chi and Pao. EU. It has like the offensive advantage with the with the rock. All right, um, I'm gonna Terra. I don't know if they Terra, but I don't think they can ever take us out in one hit. I guess unless they have Earthquake, they might be able to take us out. I don't know how much that will do. But if anything, we'll get a massive hit off here, and then we'll be able to probably finish off with uh, either Okie Doki or Festivity. Oh, we also get the defense. No, never mind. Oh, we also have Sturdy. They can never kill us here. Actually, I just realized but they can never kill us. I think this is one shots as well. It should. Now, uh, this is a dominating battle. Oh my god, Festivity is amazing. I love it. Also, Cornerstone Okapon might be the coolest looking one out of them. I don't know. The mask is so cool on the, on the rock variant. But yeah, this was definitely the best battle I've had all day. This was so amazing. This was so good to see the mons actually do good stuff. So, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment on the thought of the battle, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And I'll head out. Peace, you too.